Hello everyone, I decided to renew my old tutorials about subtitle workshop. The new ones are much better and the quality of videos is amazing. In the series about subtitle workshop I will explain all software functions in three tutorials, so after you watch those three tutorials you will be able to create great subtitles for your movie, or for any other project by saying you will learn all functions in subtitle workshop, I literally mean, that you will achieve that. Before you start with learning the software, you will have to download it. Just go to the description, and you will find a link to download the software. Then just normally install it, and open it. You will see an interface like this one, so whenever you start with new subtitle project in SW, you will have to go to File, and click, New Subtitle. With this step, you will begin with creating new subtitles. Remember, that you have to do this always when you start with new project, and just at the beginning. So go to File and New Subtitles, and you have officially started with creating new subtitles. Now let's look the other options under File. Like in any other software you have an option to save your work. So click to, Save as, but the software won't save our subtitles unless we have at least one subtitle line in our project, so first close this window, and write some text in the box below. Now go back to File, Save as, and choose Subtitle Format, the most popular is Subrip, then choose a location. Give your subtitles a name and save it. So we use Save as when we save our software for the first time or when we want to save it on a different location. Let's see the other options, so with Exit, you can obviously close the whole software, you can do that also with clicking on White Cross. Then with option close, you can close current project, with function save, you can save your project, on the location you had chosen before with option, save as. With option, load subtitle, you can obviously load your saved subtitle work. So let's demonstrate, first close the current project and go file. Load subtitle, then select, and open your saved project. And you have loaded it. Under edit window we have very useful options, so let's try them. First select subtitle line where you want to make changes. Go back to edit and click insert subtitle. The normal way, that SW inserts subtitle line, is after selected line. Let's write some text. You can write text in a box below, the written text is also visible in the subtitle line. Let's explore other options. So we have undo and redo option. Undo option brings you one action back. Redo brings your action back. Watch the demonstration. Now let's insert some more subtitle lines, you can do that under window edit, or just with shortcut insert. So just click the shortcut, and insert a few subtitle lines, just to get the feeling how is this working, by the way you can insert infinitely lines. The nature of work in SW, is to insert new line after the selected one. So if you want to insert line before the selected one, you have to click on edit, and insert before. So let's insert a line before selected one. Then if you want to remove subtitle line, just go and click to remove selected. Or just use shortcut delete. 
Here we have, 4, many times used shortcuts in everyday life. Copy, paste, cut and select all. Those ones are very useful, so it's good if you can remember them. Let's try copy option, so first select the line you want to copy, and just click on copy, and then paste. And you will copy the selected line. Or just use the shortcut, Ctrl plus C, and, Ctrl plus P. Cut is pretty much the same option, the main difference is that you cut the line and paste it, so basically you are moving it from one place to other. Watch the demonstration. Now, let's explore the Select All option, so go to Edit and click on Select All. And obviously you have selected all your subtitle lines. This is very useful option to select all your lines. You have bunch of other options to select lines. You can select them with mouse, or if you want to select specific lines, you can do that with holding down control, and choosing the lines you want. And the last option is to, click on line, and hold shift. Then go to other line and click on it. You will select all lines between them including the selected ones. Other options are more advanced, so we will explain them in second or third part of this tutorial. So now let's repeat some functions. So if we want to delete some lines, we have to select the line, and just press delete button. For the purpose of next function, let's write some text in those subtitle lines. Now let's insert a new line with keyboard shortcut insert, and write some more text. Let's try the options, under search. Before we use this option, remember that you always have to go on first line, because the SW searches from selected line downwards. So select the first line and click search. Type any word you want to find in your subtitles. So let's type OK. And as you can see the SW brings us to the line where the searched word is. Now type the word OK again. Let's see how to find all OKs in our subtitles. As before, click on first line, then on search. And as we can see the SW finds just the first OK in our subtitles. If we want to find next OK, we have to go to search. And click find next and the SW will find next OK, or any other word you are searching. Let's explore function search and replace. Basically in this function we are searching for some word in our subtitles, and replacing it with anyone we want. Watch the demonstration. So this is the way, to quickly replace, some word with other. Now let's see the last option under search. First of all, you have to remember, 
always to select the first line of subtitles, because the SW searches from selected line downwards. Click to, go to line number. By the way line numbers, are those, so at this point the option is useless, but if you had 2000 lines, it could be helpful. Let's demonstrate it. Now let's continue. Options under Tools are also advanced, so they will be explained in other part of this tutorial. Let's explore options under Movie. This is probably one of the most useful options, it is very important that you can watch movie while translating. So let's open a movie, which I created specially for the purpose of this tutorial. Click Movie and Open, find your movie and open it. And the movie will open in SW. If the movie doesn't open, try to install Codex, that will probably solve the problem. Now let's see the other options under movie, all are pretty much self-explanatory and useless, we will use another way to manipulate with those functions. By the way if you don't have checked video preview mode and show subtitles, check them. Now let's see the buttons, you will probably use all the time. At the beginning you have well known play and pause button. Then stop button, those are obviously to manage with movie. Then if you want to move from one subtitle line to another, you can use this option. Honestly said. I never use that one. Then we have the most used two buttons, to rewind and forward movie. Those two buttons you will use all the time to find out the start and the end time of subtitle line. Now let's explore the most, and literally the most used buttons in SW. First one is used, to set the start time of subtitle line, so when the subtitle will be shown on the screen. The second one, sets the end time of the subtitle, so when the subtitle disappears from screen. So let's repeat the process few more times. So first find the start time of subtitle line, so when the dialogue in movie begins, then set it, by clicking on button set start time. Second phase is to find the end time of dialogue, and then set it with button, set final time. We will repeat this process in next part of tutorial. If you want to work with frames you can change that in this window. I prefer working with time. The last thing in this part is to see the settings, so click on settings. Here we can change language of SW. And we can adjust the settings of the software. The most interesting one is, that you can adjust time intervals when SW saves your work without asking you, so just automatically saves your work, and with that action you can prevent to lose your work when some error happens. This is all for this part, see you in next one.